two days ago I had a pretty bad panic attack for the first time in probably two years. I haven't had a panic attack in a really long time. And I mean, I forgot how fucking bad panic attacks are. I didn't feel like I was living in my own body. Like I felt like I was just watching myself exist, but I wasn't connected with reality and I wasn't connected with my body and my mind. And I felt like I was just existing in like a haze. I, it's so hard to explain, but I just, I didn't feel like I was in my body. I felt like I was dreaming. I didn't feel like reality was real. It was like this, I, I wish I could explain it. I was going to say I wish you could feel it, but I actually really wish you, I hope you never feel that feeling because it was really, really terrifying for me. I felt that feeling for, you know, a few days after the panic attack. I thought there was something, you know, severely wrong with me and wrong with my brain. Um, and that was cre creating more anxiety for me because, you know, I would like become aware that I was feeling weird and, you know, was feeling not right in my brain and then that would create more anxiety which would make the problem worse and would make me feel even more disassociated and even more removed from my mind and body and it just kept getting worse and it was this terrible cycle. I think that struggles and ups and downs with your mental state are a lot more common and a lot more frequent than I think that people want to talk about because I swear to god like I'm having some sort of like crazy like spiral you know once every month, right? Sometimes more than that. But you know, like I'm feeling better now and I have to get back to my life at some point. I can't just keep laying in bed. You know, I've been in bed for quite a few days. I haven't washed my hair. It's looking a little bit like that. You know what I mean? I haven't been cooking. I haven't been cleaning. You know, uh, things are kind of out of control. So, you know, it's time to get back. <laughs> it's time to get back to my life now. Tomorrow night, I'm going to a dinner party, which is a very LA thing to do, but I don't ever go to dinner parties. Like, I can't remember the last time I went to a dinner party. I'm actually kind of excited. I'm going to a fitting right now to get my outfit all picked out. 
You know, I'm gonna get all dressed up for it. I'm kind of excited. It's not like a dinner party where it's like, you know, like friends or something. It's like a dinner party like, it's kind of more of an event. I'm not gonna lie, like I am a little bit anxious about uh, going to a dinner party uh, after my little emotional episode, but I, I think that this is exactly what I need. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. Like, it's good for me to get back into shit, you know what I mean? And it's like an excuse to wear a fancy little outfit. And that's cute, that's fun. Am I using a cat bowl for my soy sauce? Yes. But it's clean and it's the perfect size. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and it looks like 7 p.m. outside and I know it's like, stop talking about daylight savings time. Stop t talking about the time. Here's the thing, when the time changes, and it starts to become winter and it starts to get dark at like 3 p.m. It's jarring and it's upsetting. Once it gets dark outside, I don't do anything. Like my body shuts down and my mind shuts down. And I just have to lay in bed for the rest of the day. So it's 3.30, but I'm winding down, you know? <laughs> Recently, I've been feeling like this weird sensation where like, I just have nothing to say, which is so weird because my whole life, all, all I've wanted to do is just talk. I've always been such a talker, you know? Like growing up, everybody was always like, Emma never shuts up. As I'm growing up, I'm starting to just have less desire to talk. I, I can't just like, talk out of my ass like I used to. I used to never let there be a moment of silence in a conversation. And now, like, if there's a moment of silence in a conversation, so be it, you know? I let it be. And sometimes I wonder if that makes me boring. You know, like, am I becoming boring because I don't have anything to say like I used to? I don't know, maybe I've just spent so many years talking so much that I just like wore myself out, <laughs> you know? And now I just don't have anything to say anymore. That could be. Yeah, I don't know. Ah. The dinner party was last night. It went really well. The only documentation of the night that I got was this photo of me in the car on the way to the event, checking my makeup with flash. And it does it's not my favorite photo of myself, but hey, I was in bed by 10.30 p.m. It was great, you know, I was sleeping by 11 p.m.
That's all I got.